long time no drugstore dash. I don't know what that was. Basically, in today's video, it's kind of like a drugstore beauty haul. Some of the things I've tried already and some of the things I just got and haven't had a chance to try yet. So it's kind of like a haul drugstore dash combination thing. Before I get started, make sure you stay to the end of the video because you can find out how you can win all of these glorious products that I'm going to be talking about. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I will give you the details for that in a few minutes. The first thing I want to mention, of course, is Zoe's makeup bag because I just, I'm so, just, I get so emotional. I don't even know why. I'm just like, I feel so proud. I'm not even like related to Zoe. I'm not her mother. I'm not her sister. I'm not like her godmother or anything like that. But anyway, I went to the launch of Zoe's beauty products and everything is just so nice. I've got an entire blog post all about her new range. And this is one of the little makeup bags. I actually left the tag on this because I wanted to keep it to show you just like how cute the little tag is and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's Zoe's new makeup bag. Do I look like Zoe yet? Probably not. No? Now? No? No? If you're looking for a cute new makeup bag, she's got this one and there's also one with a really adorable guinea pig on there too, so yeah. The next thing has been so dramatic because I've been letting the suspense build and build and build. It's what's on my nails. And I've had this on my nails for probably four days, almost five days now, so there are a few chips. But honestly, I'm really impressed with the status of my nail polish. It's really good. So. Finally, drum roll please, it's the Revlon Colorstay Gel Envy Long Wear Nail Enamel and it's in the shade 410 Up the Ante. When I was in the drugstore, I was looking for more autumn-y shades and I saw this and I was like, it's not a typical autumn nail polish color, but it kind of is at the same time. It's a purple, but it's kind of bright, but it's a little bit muted, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the best of both worlds and I've had so many compliments on Instagram, on my vlog channel, on, no, not on this channel, I don't want to be making up compliments, um, but in real life too, believe it or not, in real life as well. So yeah, that is such a good nail polish. Like the actual formula is really good, but it's all about the color for me. And another nail polish that I haven't tried yet, but it's the Rimmel Salon Pro nail polish in the shade Urban Purple. This is another one of my favorite formulas of nail polish because they last for so long. I'm actually gonna take this nail polish off tonight and put this one on, I think. Oh, but I don't know because I like this one so much, but I'm sure I can make that tough decision at a later time today. Um, but this is like more of a standard autumn shade. It's like a raspberry, plum, cranberry, burgundy, you know, I don't know what to call it, but it kind of actually matches my lipstick. So yeah, and just the perfect segue, why don't I talk about the lipstick, which is right here. This is one of the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks and it's in the shade 30. Whoa, that sound was really high pitched. I don't know what the shade is called, but it's number 30. And this was a recommendation from my friend Amelia. And she was actually in the store with me when she was like, oh, you've got to get this. And I know she's spoken about it before. So that's what's on my lips today. It's like a dark, plummy, like same sort of thing as this, like a cranberry color. And I've got it on and it's not like too much. I feel like it's the perfect shade and it smells good. It smells like I want to say it smells like Christmas, like kind of like a Christmassy spice. I got two mascaras because I'm all out of my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express mascara. It's still like super packaged up with like this little magnetic stealing tag. It's probably not called a stealing tag, but if you steal it, it goes off. But I didn't steal it. I, I purchased it with my own money. Um, so I got the original Rocket Volume Express and then I got the waterproof one because people say that the waterproof one is even better and it really holds the curl. So it holds the curl. So I wanted to try this just to see, but I know this is my favorite, but can this steal the top spot? I will let you know. On the foundation front, another Amelia Liana recommendation. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It says super blendable, matches skin color and texture. So she recommended this, she always talks about it, but I got to thinking, I've actually tried this before. Back in the day, like three or four, five, maybe even more years ago, um, this was my foundation and I don't know why I ever went off it. It, it came in a different bottle back in the day, I think, but. Anyway, I've been using this every day since I got it. Actually, that's not true. I'm wearing a different one today, which I'll go into in a second, but I've been wearing it pretty much every day since I got it. I think it's amazing, great color. It's very thin in texture. So you like pump it out onto the back of your hand and it's like a nice skin-like finish. It really is. 
So that, that gets a big thumbs up for me. So today I wanted to try this out before I did this video and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Stay Fresh Foundation. I'm not so 100% sure on this one yet. When I applied it, number one, the color was too dark for me. I got the shade 120 Vanilla. I think there's one shade that's lighter but it's a bit on the pink side. I just don't know if I like it as much as, as the true match, mainly because I'm noticing some dry patches really out there in the open right now and I've had this on my face for maybe like seven hours so it's been a long day but still you know I don't want to be having like it looks like I've got crumbs it's looks like it looks like I've been eating chocolate chip cookies and I've got like crumbs all around my lips but maybe that actually happened and maybe I did eat the chocolate chip cookie I don't know I don't know I could a lot of things could have happened no seriously but I feel like it kind of accentuates the dry patches so I don't know, I, I haven't been using it long enough to form a real decision. The last Amelia recommendation are the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche eyeshadows. I haven't had a chance to try these yet, but they look freaking amazing. So I got the shade Nude and I also got the shade Lumiere. I think they've got a few different formulas, so some are slightly more shimmery, some are a little more matte, but the colors look amazing, like so rich and great quality. So I'm gonna try to give these a whirl tomorrow and see how I get on with them. And I might even put them in a tutorial later on this month, so. I got you covered on that front. And the last thing is something that I also haven't tried yet. It's the Revlon highlighting palette in the shade Rose Glow. I love rose colored things, scented things, anything that says rose pretty much. And this has a few different strips of different shades. So I'm assuming when you mix it all together, it creates a really nice shade. Like I said, I haven't tried this yet before, but I've tried palettes from Revlon that are like this and I've liked them, but I don't think I've tried this particular color. Well, I know I haven't because it's completely sealed up. So yeah, Rose Glow. I think it's gonna give a nice iridescence to the cheeks. That's pretty much it for me today. A nice, quick and easy one. I hope you liked seeing a few things from the drugstore. So if you wanna win every single one of these products that I mentioned today, I'm gonna package them up and put them in a really cute little Zoella bag for you. There will be a giveaway going on on Twitter. So I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box below but basically all you have to do is tweet saying your favorite thing that you're loving from the drugstore at the moment link to this video the link is in the description box and hashtag se button giveaway I know it sounds complicated but it's really not it's three steps what's your favorite drugstore product link to this video hashtag se button giveaway so it's all gonna be in the description box below I'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up you know a virtual thumbs up it's like giving me a virtual hug basically while we're chatting why don't you just subscribe to my channel so you can be updated with my future videos I'm gonna wrap it up for now that's everything I will see you in my next video bye Oh wait, I'm still here. Hey, how's it going? While I've got your attention, why not click on that little box there and you can watch my last video, which was my five autumn outfits video. And I'm really wrapping it up now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.